Galatians chapter 6 and verse 1. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such an one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Haracha Akwadash for giving me the spirit to do this video. Double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that taught us this truth and sincerity. They steered us well and they rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect. May the blessing of election be upon your house. This is the brother Zion coming at you with another lesson. Defeat the lambs through the Holy Spirit. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying and to the point. And in this lesson, this is a lamb back from GMS and Rome's Lions Fire. All right, it was a beautiful lesson. Okay, it was about judging your brother. Okay, and how you got to be careful. Okay, okay, and you know, in this truth. Okay, sometimes, you know, I already know I'm a victim of it. I can't even lie to you. You know, I'm uh, I am at fault at this a few times. Uh, you just judging your brother, you know, for a fault, and sometimes you will kind of get you know a little uh, out of hand. All right, and you got to be careful with that. All right, I learned my lesson, all right, and the lesson was uh, really, really for me, you know. So just be, you know, got to be real calm and, you know, show mercy because you want Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shai to ultimately show mercy to you, you know. Uh, Galatians chapter 6 and verse 1, Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such an one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou be tempted. All right? And that means that you got to show some mercy on your brother, man. All right? Because you don't know what that brother is going through, and the Lord can take you through that same fiery trial man he can take you through that same boat to show you that your spirit can't handle it all right whatever that may be all right so you know our job is really to build each other up okay and you know build them up through the spirit okay so they can keep going all right restore such an one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, you see, all right, do as to those as you want done to you, man, you know, because I know in certain situations I want mercy, so I must give mercy to a brother, sister, that of, of the same mind, all right, that speak the same thing, all right. Uh, kind. First Peter, chapter five, and verse six. Humble, humble yourselves, therefore, under the almighty hand of Yahweh Shemayah that He may exalt you in due time. Casting all your care upon him, for he cared for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. See? You know what I'm saying? You ain't no better than the next man, you know? So don't put yourself on a pedestal, you know, just because of how much knowledge or wisdom that you think you may have because the Most High can put those same afflictions on you, you know, and show you that 
you ain't as tough or you ain't as wise or you ain't as whatever as you think you are, you know? But, you know what I'm saying? There's a thousand ways to skin the cat, all right? And your how about Shema with Shai's omnipotent power is unmatched, you know? So we must follow this straight gate, okay? Because shit, man, you know, we all have, we all just, you know what I'm saying, got that one thing, man, that, you know, that just, you know, have us just going off, man, whatever that may be, you know? So we ain't no better than nobody else, you know? Be sober. That's having a clear mind. Be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And sometimes, man, that demon, man, to jump on you and you will just get to going in on the brother, man. You know, just showing no mercy like a lion, you know? And that is what we must resist, okay? Because, mind you, we are all worthy of a missile, to be honest. Every last one of us. So we surely need the, the, we need the mirror. We need the, we need the mercies of David, man. We need the mercies of King David to get through this, man. Okay? We need mercy from Yahweh Shai. All right, we need mercy from Yahweh by Shemal and Shai. Okay, verse nine. Whom, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But the Most High, of all grace, who have who have called us onto His eternal glory by Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, after ye be suffered a while. Make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you right. You know, we need the blood of Yahweh Shai, okay? We need the blood of Yahweh Shai to get mercy, man. We need to go through Yahweh Shai. You can't go through your own blood. We got to go through the blood of Yahweh Shai, man. You know, so don't put yourself on a pedestal, you know, because that'll happen real quick in this thing. Just because you know a couple breakdowns. Sirach chapter 3 and verse 18. The greater thou art, the more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favor before the Lord Yahweh Shai, you see? So it's most important that the more we know, the, the more we humble ourselves. Okay? All right? Be selfless instead of selfish. All right? So, you know... Because the Lord can really snatch some oil away from you, too. Or, like, take that spirit off of you and put it on another brother. You know what I'm saying? To punish you. And that ain't what we want. You know? So, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying and to the point. I want to give the glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Arachaakwadash for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honor. To the apostles and elders, a great millstone that taught us this truth and sincerity. They steered us well and they rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect. May the blessing of election be upon your house. We on the next one. Abarachazah. Shalom.